Lord and welcome back to Grace and Folds. I'm Noel and I'm excited to introduce a brand new series, Know Your Saints. Here with us we have Sister Reggie and Brother Savi, and I'll be asking them some hard questions about Mother Mary. Let's find out how they can best um, say their answers about the one of the most revered saints in our Catholic Church. So um, the first question will be, why do we worship Mother Mary? Okay. So that you want to ask the left. So, first of all, this question has come out from a wrong impression that uh, uh, we Christians or Catholics worship Mary. But that is not the true story. We are not worshiping Mary, and Ma- Mary is not worthy of being worshipped. No human being, no saint, no prophet, uh, no uh, righteous person uh, or angel can be worshipped. Only the Most Holy Trinity, God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit can be worshipped and the Bible is clear about it in the book of Revelation chapter 22 and verses 7 and 8 where we can see that John is about to worship the angel who came to him and gave all revelations. Now the angel is replying this way which we read in the Bible. Revelations chapter 22 verses 8 to 9 says I, John, am the one who heard and saw these things. And when I heard and saw them, I fell down to worship at the feet of angels who showed them to me. But he said to me, You must not do that. I am a fellow servant with you and your brothers, the prophets, and with those who keep the word of this book. Worship God. Yep. So worship God and God alone. So we are not worshipping Mother Mary. But we know some terms in the Catholic terminology like Latria, Dhulia and Hyperdhulia. Dhulia is for the, uh, the veneration for all saints except Mother Mary. Latria is for the most holy trinity or the one God uh, we worship. But Hyperdhulia is a high reverence that we give to Mary because Mary is the mother of Jesus Christ, the true God, the living God. Dhul. Yeah, so like how brother explained, we don't worship, Catholics don't worship Mother Mary. I don't worship Mother Mary. Um, But I want to ask you a question. Um, Jesus, when he came to earth in his life form, did he sin? No, he didn't sin. Okay. If he didn't sin, that means he followed all the Ten Commandments. Correct? He followed the Ten Commandments. So if he followed the Ten Commandments, What is the fourth commandment? Honor Honor your parents, honor your mother and father. So if Jesus fulfilled every commandment and Bible clearly says, I did not, Jesus clearly says, I did not come here um, to take away any of the law, but to fulfill every law, which means he fulfilled the law of honoring his mother and father. The Catholic Church talks about the same thing, that the Catholic Church honors Mother Mary and asks uh, the members of the church to honor Mother Mary. So that's what we do. We do not worship. And if you find someone who's worshiping Mother Mary, you, I think it's our duty to say, please don't honor her. And if we honor her, but then it's an easy misunderstanding that can happen when we honor her, it can be un- misunderstood as worship. Then I think it's every Catholic's duty to uh, educate the other person saying, no, we don't worship her, we honor her. So... So is there a fine line between honor and worship? Definitely. There is a fine line between honoring and worshiping. We worship Jesus. We worship Holy Spirit. We worship Abba Father, the Holy Triune God. And that's whom we worship. So the praises and thanks is given and the worship and the adoration is given to um, the Holy Triune God. But honoring Mother Mary is just saying, hey, you know, thank you for saying yes. You know, thank you, uh, you know, for uh, being there and going through whatever um, you know, because of the yes you said, you had to go through your own trouble. So thank you and honoring her for who she is. In our practical life also, no? mm. according to the title, according to the position of the people, mm. there will be the change or the different levels of uh, respect and honor. No? Mm. So we, are, we will be honoring our elders. But parents will be giving a higher honor, a great honor. Just like that, Mary is the mother of Jesus and uh, Jesus is our example. Mm. So when we follow Jesus or imitate Jesus, may Jesus honored, as sister said, uh, Jesus uh, Mary, uh, his mother Mary. So we have we, we have an example in Jesus Christ. That example says us to honor Mary, ask Jesus honor her. 
we are doing the same way you know archangel gabriel came no she he honored angel honored mary so same way we can we should and we can also honor mary in a higher level in a great level but that is not worship that is not worship so do you think that what the catholic church and what the people are doing now is honoring mother mary or worshiping we are honoring mother mary time and time again we are not worshiping mother mary we are only honoring her for who she is and like how brother said the position she carries you ha- if you have an elder sibling you have that respect for the fact that that person that yeah. he or she is elder to you yeah. but the respect which you have for your mom and dad is a little different than you have for your you know for your sibling it's a little higher in the same way so in our india now the yeah. ministers are honorable but the president of india is excellence mm. so that way now we, we according to the title according to the hierarchy mm. there will be the uh, change in the salutation also okay okay so thank you so much so uh, guys you heard why if if for why we worship uh, mother mary if you have any other questions please put in in the comment section thank you